Hello everyone, my name is Brian Rez and happy November. Now today we're going to be reading page November 2nd. And the title of the day is called, Is It Well? The verse of the day is in 2 Kings chapter 4, verses 25-26. through 26. And so she departed and went to the man of God at Mount Carmel. So it was when the man of God saw her after off, that he said to his servant Jehazi, Look, the Shunammite woman. Please run now to meet her and say to her, Is it well with you? Is it well with your husband? Is it well with your child? And she answered, It is well. How much do you really love God? What if you lost everything the way Job did? Would you still love him? Whoa, that's the real test, isn't it? I mean, it's easy to love someone who helps you out takes care of you, gives you gifts, and blesses you. It's a lot harder to love someone who allows bad things to happen to you. Isn't our first question always, how could God love me if he allowed blank? And then we get angry, and our next question is, why should I love God if he's going to treat me like that? Actually, you could say that we find out just how much we love God when something bad hits us hard. That's when we have to decide whether we love God or only what he does for us. That's the decision Horatio Spafford had to make. First, his only son died of scarlet fever. Then all his property was wiped out in a fire. Deciding that his family needed a holiday, Horatio booked passage on a ship. But just before it sailed, he was delayed by business. So he told his wife and four girls to go on ahead, and he'd meet them. Nine days later, he learned that the ship his family had been on had sunk, and only his wife had survived. He sailed on the next ship out of New York to join his wife, and as the ship passed over the place where his daughters had drowned, he stood at the railing and looked out at the water. I can only imagine what he was thinking. When he returned to his cabin, he wrote a hymn. It is well with my soul. Say what? The words of his hymn echoed the words of the Shunammite woman, whose only son had just died. What did these two know so that they could say all was well when they were faced with the worst kind of tragedy? They both knew one important truth. No matter what happens in life, God can be trusted. He can be trusted to support us, love us, and save us. And for that, we owe him our absolute gratitude and loyalty. When sorrows like sea billows roll, remember that whatever our lot, God has taught us to say, It is well. It is well with my soul. Is it well with your soul? So it's hard to love someone if they let bad things happen to you. One of those people are God. But when God lets things happen, he always has a reason for it. He's not trying to hurt us. He's trying to protect us. We all just need to trust God so he can love us and support us. Do you love God? This has been another Daily Devotional. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.